I've been arrested five, uh, five times that I can remember. Almost all are drunk driving or drinking related. You graduate high school and you join the U.S. Army. I flunked out of university three times, then I joined the U.S. Army. Okay. And I joined in when I, age 20, 1966. Military in the 60s, they still hit you, they beat you. I mean, they, they were pretty awful to you. Okay, so you were worth half a billion dollars mm -hmm. at 47 years old. Mm -hmm. So you were at the point zero 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 one percent of the world at that point. And the reason why it was so easy for me is I've got big balls, big mouth, and I'm above average intelligence. That's all you need. Uh, Andrew Carnegie uh, and uh, Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich said the best thing that you can leave your children is in a state of poverty. Self-esteem is built the first seven or eight years of life. Who are you around the first seven or eight years of life? A mom, maybe a dad, maybe one grandparent, maybe an older sibling, right? What do they know about programming kids to be high performance? Nothing. They teach you to love, they may teach you some religion, but if love and religion got the job done, we wouldn't have all the problems we've got. They don't get the job done. They don't want to fail, and most people care about what other people think, what other people say. I, I, it's astonishing to me that on Facebook, you, a, a person can get like 20 dislikes or whatever you call it, unlikes on Facebook, and they commit suicide. Are you kidding me? How is that possible? What, what has happened to the world? Um, and the, uh, I grew up, my dad said, sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. It's just the opposite now. It's not hard for me to believe that the people hate. It's hard for me to believe that they, anybody cares about the haters. First of all, 98% of the high performers on the planet have one thing in common, they're introverts. But the, both the introverts and the uh, uh, alpha males focus obsession, like OCD. I mean, laser beam focus. There's college kids, uh, high school kids that go to uh, embassy with placards marching around, save the rainforest, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, that's not going to save one tree. You go out like Bill Gates did and start the Melinda Gates, Bill Gates Foundation that it manages, I don't know, 70, 80 billion dollars, uh, and uh, they're saving the world. They're going out and uh, finding cures for malaria or whatever. Um, and uh, the, the, the rich guys and gals have the connections, they have the money, uh, they have the, uh, the the wherewithal to make things happen, and uh, just you know marching around and complaining uh, doesn't get much accomplished other than marching around and complaining. You're also big on telling people to be more selfish. Correct. Explain. Um, when you were growing up and I was growing up, my parents said well, I would have much, but share your toys. You know, mm -hmm. share your toys. Okay. And so at almost from infancy, we're taught to share. You know. Uh, and love one another. Uh, but most people, by, by, by the time they become adults, they are pleasers, okay? And uh, the high performance people that you read about aren't pleasers. They may be introverts, they may not be extroverts and alpha males like me, but they're not pleasers. Bill Gates is not a pleaser, okay? Uh, and Bill Gates, if you knew him in business, is selfish. And you know, the thing that uh, the university students can't grasp, you go back to Henry Ford, Steve Jobs, Rockefeller, Andrew Carnegie, uh, 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 the current guys, Elon Musk, uh, uh, Ma from uh, Alibaba, they all have one uh, characteristic uh, is that they're tough as nails. 